Welcome to EuroPCR 2025. My name is Michael Haude and today I'm here with uh, Thomas Cuisset to discuss about the PREVENT trial. Thomas, can you just briefly tell us what is the PREVENT trial about? Yeah, of course, Michael. The PREVENT trial includes more than 1,600 patients with vulnerable plaques, mainly stable patients. And these patients have been randomized between optimal medical treatment or optimal medical treatment plus preventive PCI and these patients were follow up during years. Can you tell us how these vulnerable plaques were identified in the trial? Yeah, of course. A vulnerable plaque were defined in this trial as plaque non-significant based on physiological assessment, wire-based, and also with criteria of vulnerability based on intracoronary imaging and mainly IVUS in this study. And can you give us the summary of the results, the key results that came from that study? Yeah, it was a combined primary endpoint and it was met. It meant that the group of patients with preventive PCI had a significantly lower incidence of primary endpoint. But interestingly, in this composite endpoint, there was no difference for death, no significant difference for myocardial infarction. And the only benefit was, dri was driven by the new target lesion revascularization in the group of patients who had just optimal medical treatment. Now, does that now mean if we have identified such a vulnerable plaque that we now have to intervene by PCI on that plaque? Is that now to become our daily clinical practice? Is that the way how you deal patients in your institution? No, I don't think so, Michael. Because two reasons. First is the applicability. Because to try to assess and to look for vulnerable plaque, it means that we have to do physiology and imaging trivial for all or stable patient, which is just impossible in the cat lab. And to me, this trial doesn't call for the use of preventive PCI for vulnerable plaque because there is no significant benefit on hard clinical endpoint. And that's what we want to avoid in vulnerable plaque. So I think I will probably keep this patient with optimal medical treatment and no preventive PCI. What do you think? Do you agree on that? No, I personally have to say when I look at the results, I come to the same conclusion. It's unpractical to do that screen every vessel in the cath lab and identify by those criteria, which at least are questionable. I think the final definition of a vulnerable plaque yet is unknown. And in order to do so, I think it's more important to stick on risk factor management, in particular adequate medication, goal-oriented adequate medication. That is the way to go for. Now, what can we expect from the future when we look at a potential PCI to treat these vulnerable plaques, which are non-obstructive? Yeah, it's, I think it's really a complex topic because we discuss vulnerable plaque for more than 20, 25 years. We had the balloon angioplasty and now we came with BVS, with DES, so many different options. I think the first point will be to have proper detection and criteria to define vulnerable plaque which to me will define the vulnerable patients. And probably the way to go is to be able to do non-invasive identification of vulnerable plaque with the CT. And I think that's a clear hope for the future. And beyond PCI, I think a clear message from the study is also that these vulnerable plaque and vulnerable patients should be optimized in terms of secondary prevention and probably more than undergoing any percutaneous uh, intervention. That's my view on that, Michael. Thank you, Thomas. So just in brief summary, I think it's a well-conducted randomized trial with a very clear result. The primary endpoint is met. Nevertheless, it leaves a lot of questions open, mainly about the definition of a vulnerable plug and then the ideal treatment of that. I think for the future, we need further studies who address both of these aspects, and there are options to move there. So future will give us an answer. Thanks, Thomas, again for Thank being you, here. Michael. It was a pleasure.